we remember our dead, it is an act of love by which we remember that person, all that that person has meant for us. Going to a grave to pray there at the grave is a kind of a way of making tangible our desire to express our gratitude and our love for that person. All of us surely know that that person is no longer there. We believe in the resurrection of the body, which means that the whole person enters into glory, not necessarily the body of flesh and blood that we have, but the real person. The real person is then no longer there in the grave. Unless there is a very expensive coffin, we don't feel like we have showed our last respects to the person. When we use coffins for burial, which burial destroys so much of the trees, Pope Francis today, most of us have read his encyclical, Laudato Si, where he speaks of a great concern about the way we are destroying nature. One way in which we are destroying nature is by cutting down trees. We as a society, as a community, as a Christian community, can change that by introducing something very eco-friendly that goes with the teaching of the church. A shroud burial. And I might mention that it has been done very successfully in Vasai, where it has been accepted by, by the people. There would be a metal coffin and the body is wrapped in a cloth. Jesus was wrapped in a cloth and laid in the tomb. The body is lowered by straps which are attached to that cloth. It also would help precisely in the body's own decomposition in the grave. Sometimes because if you open the grave, the, thick, the wood is so thick, it's still there. As things get more and more common, you know, more and more shrouds are kept available either in the parishes or with undertakers or and metal coffins within the parishes. I'm sure that more and more people will opt for shroud burial. We should encourage this very much today that those who want to be buried, that we do it in a way that harms nature the least.